Okay, so before we start this video, we got to talk about the breaking news that happened after I filmed it while I was actually just on a live stream. Uh, Field Yates wrote, Eagles defensive end Derek Barnett has agreed to a restructured contract as he was previously due a $7.5 million salary with up to $1 million in per game bonuses. He's now due a $3.5 million or guaranteed salary with $250,000 in per game bonuses and up to $2.2 million in incentives. So the Eagles restructure Derek Barnett. And to me, the question is why? Why, first of all, do we want this guy to come back? If it was more likely that you were going to cut him and let him go if he didn't restructure, why would I want to do that? Unless, unless this possibly opens up the Eagles to maybe trade him. Is it easier to trade him now? That's the question I have. Uh, it looks like, for all intents and purposes, as we sit right here, it looks like Derek Barnett will be on this roster this year. Um, hopefully, you know, hopefully he can he can prove all of us who don't think uh, he can go uh, prove us wrong and has a big year. I, it would be great. I just don't know. Uh, what is what are the Eagles saving here? Like like two million dollars in cap space? Uh, you gotta wonder what Howie Roseman is up to. Uh, but Derek Barnett restructured. And we'll see where this leads. Now, let's start this video. Let me say this right now. As impressive as Nolan Smith and Jalen Carter have been at camp so far, Jordan Davis has been equally as impressive. Back here, hope everybody's having a great day. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're hanging in there. So the Eagles are back at camp after day one of practice. Nolan Smith, Jalen Carter, the talk of the NFL. They looked extremely impressive. But one guy that I think is extremely as impressive so far in camp, Jordan Davis. And to me, Jordan Davis is the key to this defense going to another level. Now, we're going to get into it in a second, but before we do that, if you're new to the channel and you like the content, make sure you hit that like button. More importantly, make sure you subscribe to the most censored, the most throttled Eagles content creator in all of the internet. And let me thank everybody who was in my stream earlier today. I really appreciate it. I had a lot of fun. We will be streaming tomorrow. We will be streaming all next week except for Wednesday. Um, so... If you haven't, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of it. Now, today has been kind of a crazy day in the NFL so far. Uh, we saw Jalen Ramsey get hurt. Now, we're seeing that Joe Burrow uh, just got hurt, and it sounds like it could be his Achilles. That would be a horrible, horrible injury. I hope he's okay, obviously. But that would pretty much doom the, that would doom the Bengals for the season, no doubt about it. Uh, Joe Burrow... Great, great quarterback, but I mean, this is going to be the second major injury he's had in the NFL, and uh, I know he's had knee problems in the past, uh, but it's just, it's crazy how quickly things can change uh, in an NFL season, and you know, I, I've always been th that guy who's like, man, you should have two days, you need to go out, you need to hit, and part of me still thinks so, but I, 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 I gotta under say I understand why the Eagles don't hit a lot of guys, don't have a lot of hitting, don't do a lot of that. They have what hour practice, uh, preseason, they'll play maybe one or two uh, series the whole preseason, they're starters. I totally get it. It totally makes sense to me when you say things like that happens. Uh, it, it's crazy. Now, the other thing we got to talk about is Kelly Green, right? Today we got Kelly Green. This is 96. It is not, it is not, I repeat, it is not Derek Barnett. It is Clyde Simmons. Clyde Simmons, one of the most underrated Eagles players in franchise history. I think the next one I want to get uh, throwback is got to be Seth Joyner. Mitchell Ness has Seth Joyner right now. So I might have to jump all over that one. Um, but but uh, Kelly Green, we've been waiting, we've been waiting. And today the Eagles announced that on the 31st, they're going to have another announcement. So they announced that they're having an announcement 
on uh, the 31st of July. But in all seriousness, I cannot wait for these jerseys to come out. And truthfully, uh, I... I I already know I like it. I already know I like it from the little teaser that we saw. And to me, the biggest concern that I had about the jerseys uh, and, and about them getting it right, the biggest thing that I was worried about was what was going to be on the side right here. What was going to be? Was it going to be a number like they, they wore in 2010 or was it going to be the Eagle? And they pretty much, they, they, they solved my concerns because on the, uh, on the teaser, it's it's a it's a clip of you know just the sleeve and it shows the eagle so uh, I can't wait I, I I'm I'm super excited and I believe this is going to be the alternate jerseys this year and then I believe next off season we get the full revamp that's what I'm predicting is going to happen we're going to get a refresh next year um, we're going to get new jerseys and they may they may keep the midnight green but i do believe that that uh, a refresh is coming otherwise they would have put the word marks on the jerseys and they didn't do it and they did they did put and i went back and checked they did have the new word mark in the end zones of all the games last year so uh why wouldn't they put on the jersey uh all you have to do is make it and stitch it it's not hard so you got to wonder what's going on. I think a revamp's coming next next off season, but Kelly Green uh the 31st uh I, I'm probably going to do a reaction video to that. Um maybe I'll go live or something, but I cannot wait to see it. It's going to be fun and I'm definitely going to get myself a Devontae Smith jersey. Um Definitely have to get Devontae Smith and probably Hassan Reddick. I don't know. I'm probably going to get go broke and my wife's going to throw me out of the house because I'm going to spend all my money on Eagles Kelly Green jerseys. I'm probably going to have the whole roster at some point. It is what, except for Derek Barnett. Well, that ain't happening, right? But it is what it is. Um, now, I was on Dan Cilio's show earlier. Shout out to Dan Cilio. I love the guy. Uh, but I was on his show earlier and... Um, we started talking like, he, you know, he, he kind of he kind of gets Eagle fans riled up. I know how he does. I know what he likes to do. But we started talking about Jordan Davis. And I kind of brought up Jordan Davis in that he was asking me, who do I think, you know, which young player is going to make the most impact? Which young player is am I most intrigued to watch? And I truly believe that Jordan Davis is one of the keys to this whole thing. As a matter of fact, I think if the Eagles want to take their defense to another level, I think Jordan Davis is the key. And I say that because I think you know what we're, I think we all know what we're going to get with Jalen Carter, or Nolan Smith. We know what Fletcher Cox is, Brandon Graham, Josh Sweat. We know what all those guys are. And, you know, Jalen Carter is a rookie. Is it fair to say, hey, you're a rookie, come in and get 11 sacks like Hargrave? Uh, got last year. I think that's unreasonable. Although I think Jalen Carter is going to end up with nine and a half sacks this year. That's my prediction. But I still think it's unfair to expect that much from a rookie. But I do think he's going to be good. I think he's one of the top three best players in the entire draft. So I, I like Jalen Carter. I like where we're at. But if Jordan Davis is is what we drafted him to be, if he's a number one pick and plays up to the level that a number one pick should Jordan Davis, to me, makes everything that much harder. He's going to open everything up for Jalen Carter, for Brandon Graham, Josh Sweat. It's going to open up. It's going to help. If he's taking double teams, it's going to help the linebackers. Jordan Davis, how he plays, to me, is going to be whether the Eagles pass rush is just really, really good or next level good. And I think Jordan Davis is the key. And fortunately for us, Jordan Davis has taken it serious. He came in in tremendous shape, and we're hearing rave reviews about him, okay? There was an article that said, Eagles training camp, leaders seeing growth in Jordan Davis heading into year two. Impressed with Jalen Carter. And um, it, it goes on to talk about, uh, you know, Jordan Davis and, and Fletcher Cox. They were interviewing him. This is what he said. Uh, I've been in this position, you know, being drafted in the first round. You expect a lot, Cox said after Wednesday's Eagles practice. But the thing, the biggest thing is to get in and learn. Learn the defense, learn the defense, learn how to practice as a pro, learn just the in new environment of being around. Overall, Jordan Davis, he says, is going to be a really good player, player for us. He came back. He knew what to expect. 
Cox said. I watched him run conditioning tests. He did a great job. I don't think he was gassed one bit. Flew around in individual drews, dr drills, I'm sorry. Flew around in practice. I'm looking forward to seeing him continue to grow in his conditioning. He took care of himself. It was great. And this, these are high praises for Jordan Davis. And to me, the biggest thing about Jordan Davis is that Jordan Davis is in shape. This is half the battle with him. If he's in shape, if he's conditioned, he's going to be a problem. You can't block this guy one-on-one. -on -one. You're going to need two people. Now, some people are going to be saying in the, in the comment section, well, he's not a three-down defensive tackle. And I'll say this. If he's in shape, if he is well-conditioned, you cannot tell me that he is not going to be a three-down defensive tackle or capable of it. The guy is too athletic. He's too talented not to be. The key to Jordan Davis is he's got to be in shape. And right now, he looks like he's 25, 24 pounds lighter. I mean, dude, dude was jacked in, 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 in the videos that we saw. He looks great. And uh, I, I think that Jordan Davis is the key to, to this defense going to another level. Now, Dan Silio says I'm the PR guy for Jordan Davis. Fine, I accept it. You know what I mean? I'm definitely not his dietitian, you know. But I think Jordan Davis is, is really... He, it means a lot for us to get a lot out of him. And, you know, yes, you might have lost Hargrave and you might lose 11 sacks. How do you replace it? Well, you don't necessarily have to replace it with one guy. If, if Jalen Carter, let's say, goes out there and gets eight or nine sacks, and let's say Jordan Davis can get 15 sacks, and the way that Jordan Davis plays the run, uh, you should be able to not just in you know equal what Javon Hargrave did, but you should also be able to improve combined. Uh, Jordan Davis has to be out there. He has to play. He is the key, in my opinion. And this is just my opinion. He's the key to taking this defense to another level. He affects so much by freeing up guys like Jalen Carter to be blocked one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, also, you know, with the other guys on the defensive line. You can't block this guy with, with, with one guy. Every when you go back and just watch Jordan Davis last year, watch how every time somebody's blocking him one-on-one, -on -one, he's just pushing the guy back, pushing the guy back, like 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 they're nothing. They, they have to double-team the guy. So it frees up space for other guys to, to flourish. And I also think it frees up uh, N'Kobe Dean. Uh, so to me, Jordan Davis is the probably one of the most intriguing players to watch on this defense. We know what Jalen Carter is going to be. We know what he's going to be. But if Jordan Davis is what we drafted and what we thought we were getting, if he lives up to that, you are going to have a defense that is on a whole nother level. And I actually think they could be better in sacks and getting pressures than they were a year ago. Uh, just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Reminder, I will be live tomorrow. Uh, so look for that uh, during the day as well. Um, the Eagles, as far as practice was concerned, the Eagles had um, a walkthrough today. So it, was, it wasn't public, but they'll be back on the field tomorrow, so we'll have a lot to talk about. Uh, I'll have a training camp video out when practice is over. With that said, take care. Talk to you later. Of course, don't be a dingbat. Remember, it's how we vision. We're all just living in it. So I just I just wanted to take a second, um, you know, to, to just say thank you to everybody for all the support you give to me. It, it, and I say that and I truly mean it. You know, we're getting ready to go into another football season. And I just think back about this past all seasons and, and I just think about, man, there was a lot of people that were with me all all season. And I just want to thank you guys so much for your support. It, it truly means a lot. It motivates me to come out here and do this. Uh, we're always trying to change things up, improve how we can. Um, but I just... I just am very humbled by everybody in the support I get, even the trolls. I mean, the trolls, you know, they come, they talk about the, the team, they, they make jokes, but they're, they're all pretty cool and pretty nice, and I, I really like most of them, you know? So I, I just I just want to thank everybody because it means a lot. And I have a lot of Cowboy fans watch, a lot of Giant fans watch, as well as Eagle fans, and... Um, I, I really believe I have the best subscribers in the world. I really do. And I, I just want to thank you guys so much. Uh, we will continue this, this season just putting out a lot of content.
doing the best we can, always trying to get better. And uh, I just I just wanted to take a second and thank you guys because I've been really just appreciative uh, and thinking a lot about, you know, how much support you guys give me in all season stuff and how much it means to me. Uh, with that said, Denzel Washington out.